The busy city of Manila, the capital of the Philippines, is an exciting and energetic metropolis. Hop on board any of the colorful and kitschy jeepneys to get around town. The iconic buses that usually pack in more people than they can hold are the main form of transportation and worth at least one ride during your visit, just for the experience of course. Manila has an eclectic mix of modern attractions and rich history, as evidenced by the many cathedrals and tributes to the city's 16th century establishment alongside modern-day malls and amenities. Some of the best places to visit in Manila are the churches, monuments and impeccably landscaped public parks. Manila is full of restaurants that serve up local fare, including fresh seafood. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 rated tourist attractions and things to do in Manila. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more awesome travel guides and make sure you hit the notification bell so that you know when we publish a new video. So now let's cut to the chase. At 10, tour Manila on Bambike Eco Tours. Manila is a pedestrian-friendly city, but if you want to explore the culture and history more efficiently, consider the Intramuros Bamboo Bicycle Eco Tours. These tours provide a unique, eco-friendly way to see urban Manila. By taking an eco tour, you are also supporting environmental sustainability efforts of local businesses. BAM bikes are locally handmade bicycles custom built from bamboo. The company has a social welfare initiative that employs villagers for the production of the bikes. At 9, Robinson's Place Mall. While a mall might not be on the top of your list for exploring the culture of Manila, Robinson's Place Mall has a surprising number of unique stores where you can find local items. While locals shop here, it's also a popular spot for tourists. Be on the lookout for clothing, cosmetics, bags and food that are unique to the Philippines. The mall is extensive, so plan time to walk the interior and explore the stores. The mall's modern building is a stark contrast to the rustic and historic landmarks that surround it. Next up at 8, discover Filipino history at the National Museum of the Philippines. For a true exploration into the culture of the country, the National Museum of the Philippines is one of the best places to visit. This museum has four main complexes, including extensive collections and artifacts relating to art, archaeology, anthropology, zoology, biology and natural history. The museum galleries help offer a sense of place, telling the cultural story beyond what you will find on your own visiting the city's many historical attractions. And now at 7, view the skyline from Manila Bay. Strolling along the Manila Bay waterfront is one of the most enjoyable and scenic things to do in the city, and it does not cost anything to enjoy. The natural harbour is always bustling with activity, Take a walk along the Manila Bay Walk at sunset for a great view of the city skyline. The bayfront is accented by yachts and smaller boats anchored in the harbour and open-air cafes where you can stop for a bite to eat. The bayfront is also a popular place for locals taking in a morning jog. Another relaxing way to enjoy Manila Bay is to book a sunset dinner cruise that will take you past local landmarks and includes dinner and live entertainment for an evening. At 6, admire Quiapo Church and Public Square. The Quiapo Church is one of the oldest and most admired Catholic churches in Manila. The more formal name of the church is the Minor Basilica of the Black Nazarene. Depending on the time of day, the plaza surrounding the century-old church can be quite congested, which makes it an interesting place to visit to admire the devotion of the Filipino people. Fridays are the busiest days, when thousands of people pile into the square and pray at the church for Novena. Despite the large gatherings of church devotees, this is one of the top attractions in the city. Take time to see the inside of the church and stroll through the market stands outside to buy fresh peanuts, mangoes or necklaces from local vendors. And now at 5, walk the grounds at Fort Santiago. The site of Fort Santiago is an impressive stop if you are visiting the city and it is one of the most important historical sites in Manila. 
This 16th century fortress was key in protecting the Entramuros, which is the oldest district in Manila, known historically as the Walled City. You can explore the grounds at a leisurely pace. Be sure to take note of bullet markings that are still visible in the fortress walls and stop by the visitor center for more detailed information about the fort. At four, stroll through Rizal Park. One of the first stops in Manila should be Rizal Park. Sometimes referred to as Luneta Park, this is a peaceful and manicured outdoor garden located in the heart of the city. The park is a social gathering place in Manila known for its open-air concerts and chess plaza. The paved pathways through the park guide you through a lush landscape of blooming flowers, ponds and more than 40 points of interest that range from statues to historical dedications. Of note is the century-old Monument of Rizal, which houses the remains of one of the Philippines' most celebrated heroes, Dr. Jose Rizal. Be sure to stroll through the park to learn about the local flora and fauna. Keep your eyes open for the Nara tree, the national tree of the Philippines, and the small lake with an artistically raised archipelago structure in the middle. At three, San Augustine Church and Museum. As a designated UNESCO World Heritage Site, the San Augustine Church is a national treasure and one of the most popular places to visit in the Philippines. This Catholic church has a unique history that is reflected in the details of the building. If you look closely, you will see both Chinese and Spanish influences in the design. The church has been rebuilt several times after battles and natural disasters. Pay close attention to the carvings on the large wooden doors that open to the chapel. If you have an interest in history or architecture, it would be worth your time to hire a local guide who can take you on a walking tour of the area and describe intricate details of the church that you may not notice on your own. And now at two, dive deep at Manila Ocean Park. The Manila Ocean Park is one of the most unique adventures in the city and one of the top things to do for families visiting Manila. Get interactive with marine life with the sharks and rays encounter, trails to Antarctica exhibit, or the fish spa where fish clean your feet in a small pool of water. Nice. The park easily fills several hours depending on how many encounters you try. In addition to the state-of-the-art aquatic facility, you will see exhibits of birds and other animals. The Manila Ocean Park is billed as a marine theme park. Besides the educational aquatic attractions, there is shopping, dining and Hotel H2O, where you can sleep surrounded by an aquarium. And finally, at one, experience Manila's oldest section in Intramuros. You will likely pass through the Intramuros whether you know it or not as you explore Manila. It is the oldest section of the city and characterized by its walled fortress. This section of Manila was once a walled city during Spanish colonial times in the 1500s to the 1800s. Walk around inside the three mile long stone wall that surrounds the district. While you can walk the grounds on your own, you might want to take a guided walking tour to learn more about the walled city and its significance to Manila. And there you have the top 10 rated tourist attractions and things to do in Manila. Did you like what you saw? Let us know in the comments down below. Share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fantastic travel guides. See you next time.